Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I'd like to do a spread on Diana's energy and how she was feeling on that fateful night. On that fateful night. Here we go. Oh, that popped. Oh, wow. So she felt she was at a Ten of Swords at a rock bottom and that she was at a Queen of Wands in reverse. So she wasn't feeling too um, confident at the time. She was feeling um, a lack of, actually. So she was not in a super great place, I guess. Um, and she found a king of swords, someone with uh, in intellectual success and someone who would be, you know, intentional leader with her and give her maybe some balance. And then we have here, wow, the emperor upright. So she feels like she found a very strong male, a very strong male around her and that it would be victorious with the victory card, the six of wands upright. Wow. Okay. And teamwork expansion in reverse. So she, I would say she didn't want people to know she was kind of keeping on the down low. Um, but she didn't think they would be doing any work together, obviously. And she was trying to follow her higher self and her, her, you know, sense of knowing uh, her, you know, intuition. And we have the devil energy between them. So there was some hot passion between them. <clears throat> And it was happening very fast. The relationship was going very fast. And there was no giving and receiving help. So, you know, it was no work, no work was uh, to be had. They weren't working together. And she was pretty happy with them. She was feeling pretty happy and good that day. She was feeling like she did have some losses. Um, obviously, she did have losses. And it was, it was, she was happy to be in his presence. Uh, but she wasn't sure with the magician in reverse. Uh, what would become of it. So she probably felt that it possibly wouldn't go anywhere, I would say, that it wouldn't manifest into anything. And she had her boundaries down with the nine of wands in reversed. So she wasn't, you know, there was no fast changes that was going to happen for her. She didn't want things to happen fast because upright it's a fast change. So she wanted to slow things down with the new relationship with the ace of cups. So she wanted to slow it down a bit. It was hot, passionate. And she wasn't in love with him at the time with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, you know, but she was kind of hot for him. And she felt it was kind of selfish with the uh, hangman in reverse. And we have here uh, confession time uh, and release your fears. So she had to release her fears to go out and date him. Um, and we have here, she basically... Um, wasn't being secretive about it with the page of swords in reverse. This is deceit, gossipy, and secretive. So she wasn't being secretive. She let it out of the bag. She was being seen publicly with them. And then we have friendship card here with the six of cups. So she was treating him like he was treating her like a friend. And it was obviously a new relationship. Uh, they felt young together with this page of pentacles. And um, they were balancing their energies together. It was a juggling act, getting together. It was difficult getting time together. And it ended up being a tower crashing moment, basically. Um, and then we have here, and it was obviously a burden. So um, this end result, right? Uh, so that is how that is. So she was actually, you know, feeling pretty hot and heavy for him. New relationship. She wanted to slow it down a little bit. She wasn't, pri pri you know, she was public about it. She started out at a Ten of Swords uh, dating him and found that he was very strong, uh, intentional leader, very emperor and king of swords energy. She felt they could be successful together, yet she wanted to slow it down a tad bit because it was happening very quickly. Um, and she did like him. So, yeah, that is that. Um, let's get some. How did he feel about her? How did he feel about her? Dodi al -Fayed. How did he feel about her? How did Dodi Al Fayed feel about Diana? I'm sure it was mutual. How did he feel about her? How did he feel about Diana? How did he feel about Diana? He felt a Nine of Cups, very emotionally fulfilled. And the Hierophant, wow, he wanted to marry her. He wanted to marry her. And wow, Knight of Cups. He wanted to seduce her. He wanted to be that responsible lover, idealistic proposals, uh, 
yeah, just do it. He, he really, wow. Okay. He wanted to marry her. And we have here, yeah, so, the, but I have the page of wands in reverse and he knew also he kind of felt that he had to slow down a bit some of his enthusiasm because he was very enthusiastic for her and it felt pretty youthful. So he was trying to cur curtail some of his enthusiasm. And then I would say that justice cause and effect. So, you know, he felt that with the justice, um, it was taking a, you know, cause and effect. It was the right path. So it was the right path to be with her is how he felt. He felt that they were meant to be. And so they were. So let's get some more energy on the two. Some more energy on the two. Here we go. On the two. Let's get some energy on the two of them. There we go. We have here obstacles and challenges. It was an obstacle and challenge to get together. And then we have here, they had to choose wisely when and where and how. And then we have here for rest and rejuvenation. So they probably took some vacations together. And it felt like a vacation being together when they did find the time together. And we have here balance. They were able to balance each other's energy. So they felt very balanced together and gratitude. But yet she felt a little bit of fear. There was a little bit of fear in um, being together. It was a little bit of a scary situation, I guess. And let's get some more. Here we go. We have here the child I was meant to be. So maybe she felt that this was, was meant to be a, a better relationship for her than what she had previously. And let's get some more. Oh, that, there we go. We have here, oh, false person. Hmm. Okay, false person with the courthouse. Okay, so she was possibly afraid that, um, I don't know what that means. Wow mature woman. So she was afraid of divorce. She feared divorce. Yeah. She was afraid that he could possibly be a false person. She could end up in divorce court as a mature woman. So she had her fears. Uh, that was the fear right here. We have with the fear here. So that fear was, was getting another divorce. Um, and she feared change as well. She feared, she did fear change. So that's pretty normal in a situation like that. And we also have here, she was afraid that it would be a unreliable situation and the institution uh, the, with the family uh, that they would not like it because we have the clock tower here and that represents institutions and so forth so she feared she feared that they would be very unhappy with her and feel that she was she was sneaking around being this unreliable individual being with him so for some reason she just felt that they wouldn't like it and then we have here um, sickle which is someone who who is, um, a, that's a breakup. So she also feared breakup. She feared a breakup, that they could possibly force her to break up with them. And she didn't want that to happen. And Penelope's barking at my door. And then we also have here, it made, she made him, they made each other very happy. So they did fear a breakup, being forced to break up. They did fear that. And then we also have here the mountains, the, the troubles, the, the uh, obstacles that would face them being together. There was obstacles being together. Yeah. And let's get some of these cards. If I get these ones. Okay, here we go. Boom. Wisdom. So they were following their wisdom. And they were also trying to be triumphantly successful. They wanted to be successful together. So they liked each other a lot. And let's get some more. Some more energy here we go and we have here they knew it what felt forbidden wow it felt forbidden for like forbidden love hmm. okay a lot of people did say that they felt that it was forbidden love so yeah i'm gonna get some of these energy cards get some of these here we go and two of them Boom. And she was falling in love with them. She was falling in love with them. So that's nice. She was falling in love at the end there. Not bad, right? So let's find out. How much did she feel in love with them? How much did she fall in love with them? How much did she fall in love with him? Let's get some cards here. Boom. We have here the King of Swords. Yeah, back to the King of Swords. He was her intentional leader. She wanted a really strong guy in her life. Um, who could stand up against others. And it made him feel very abundant. Once again, we have the, the total wish fulfillment card 
here, the yes card. So she was saying yes to him. She was totally saying yes to this guy. She, she was very interested in him. And then we also have here the judgment card. And she knew she would be judged for it. Um, and so that's how she felt, how he felt, and uh, how the, she felt the public would do that. So let's get another card on the judgment. What did she fear with the judgment? That it would be a cruel ending, the cruelty with the nine of swords, that they would be forced to end the relationship and it would be total cruelty. So that is that. That is what she was thinking on her final night um, prior to the accident. I don't really want to get into the accident portion, um, but um, this is was leading into it. So I hope you enjoyed this nice short spread. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.